Jesus and his disciples are staying in Bethany, a little town just outside Jerusalem. And in a few days, they will travel there to celebrate the Passover, the great Jewish festival which remembers how God freed the Israelites from their slavery in Egypt. The news that Jesus was on the way to Jerusalem swept through the city, and a huge crowd of Passover visitors took palm branches and went down the road to meet him. Jesus entered the city riding on a young donkey, so fulfilling Zechariah's prophecy made 500 years before that said, don't be afraid of your king, people of Israel, for he will come to you meekly, sitting on a donkey's colt. As Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred, asking, who is this? And the crowds answered, this is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Hosanna to the son of David. But the Pharisees, the religious authorities, said to each other, we've lost. Look, he has the whole world in his hands. And some of them confronted Jesus, shouting, sir, stop your followers from shouting these things, making these claims about you. Jesus replied, if they keep quiet, even the stones scattered along the roadside will cry out. On the first day of Passover, the day the lambs were sacrificed, Jesus and his disciples gathered in a large, specially prepared room to eat the Passover supper. As he sat eating with the twelve, Jesus said, Tonight, one of you will betray me. The disciples were in shock. Sorrow chilled their hearts, and in turn, each of them asked, Am I the one? Eventually he replied, It is the one I served first. This was Judas, 
who had asked him, Rabbi, is it I? And Jesus had answered him, Judas, you know this? Yes. Immediately, Judas left the room. And as they continued to eat, Jesus took a loaf of bread. He blessed it and he broke it apart. And he gave it to the disciples saying, take this and eat it. For this is my body. And he took a cup of wine, gave thanks for it, and passed it round, saying, Each one of you, drink from it, for this is my blood, sealing the new covenant. It is poured out to forgive the sins of multitudes. Mark my words, I will not drink this wine again until the day I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. And when they had sung a hymn, they walked to the Mount of Olives. night is cold and quiet, my Lord. Oh, let this cup pass from my lips, for I am so afraid. Father, help me now, I pray. Save me from trial I have to go through father I have no one but you save me from the pain I have to 
to bed The night is cold and quiet, my lord Oh, let this cup pass from my lips For I am so Jesus stood up and returned to his disciples, only to find them asleep again, exhausted from grief. He said, the time for sleep has ended. I am about to be betrayed into the hands of wicked men. Come, get up, we must go. Look, my betrayer is here. And at that very moment, even as he was still speaking, Judas arrived with a mob armed with swords and clubs sent out by the chief priests. <laughs>
I don't understand your question And I never knew the man I can swear I saw you with him Well, that's something I deny You're mistaken, that's a lie Listen to me, God knows I have never seen this man before today How can I convince you There's no truth in what you say
Early in the morning, the chief priests, elders, rabbis, the entire Supreme Court met to discuss the next step. They decided to send Jesus under armed guard to the palace of Pilate, the Roman governor, for only he had the power to sentence a person to death. His accusers wouldn't go in themselves, for according to their religious laws, that would defile them, and they wouldn't be allowed to eat the Passover lamb. So Pilate went out to them and asked, what is your charge against this man? What are you accusing him of doing? We wouldn't have arrested him if he weren't a blasphemer and a criminal, they retorted. Then take him away and judge him yourselves by your own laws, Pilate told them. But we want him crucified, they said, and your approval is required. So, confused, afraid, Pilate went back into the palace and called for Jesus to be brought to him. against you is getting harder to believe so declare you say you're greater than the prophets sound their hope and if your kingdom is on alpha then why are you here at The charges are I just don't know what to make of you or the truth you claim to be. And if you're really the Messiah, then why can't your people see? Listen to them.
Judas was a witness to these events, and when he saw that Jesus had been condemned to die, he was overwhelmed with guilt and regret for what he had done. The chief priests had paid him to identify Jesus in Gethsemane, but now Judas brought back the money, crying, I have sinned. I have betrayed an innocent man. Take back your money. No, that's your problem, they retorted. What's done is done. So Judas cast the coins onto the temple floor and fled.
so, Pilate sentenced Jesus to death as they had demanded, and he ordered Jesus to be flogged with a leaded whip and handed him over to be crucified. And then the Roman soldiers took him into the barracks of the palace, called out the entire palace guard, dressed him in a purple robe, and made a crown of long, sharp thorns and put it on his head. And then they saluted him, yelling, Long live the king of the Jews. And they beat him on the head with a cane, spat on him, and went down on their knees to worship him. When they finally tired of their sport, they took off the purple robe and put his own clothes on him again and led him away to be crucified. As they were on the way to the execution site, they came across a man from Cyrene in Africa. Simon was his name. And they pulled him from the crowd and forced him to carry Jesus' cross. Simon, carry my cross It's so heavy They beat me till I fell My strength is gone and now I need your good It's hard to follow this through But it's something I have to do This death I die Go back to the crowd They've gathered To watch me die It will be over Soon A few hours more
It was about nine o'clock in the morning when the crucifixion took place. By now, it was noon, and darkness fell across the whole land for three hours until three o'clock. The light from the sun was gone, and the curtain separating the holiest place in the temple was split apart from top to bottom. And the earth shook and rocks broke. Then Jesus shouted, Father, I commit my spirit to you. And with those words, he died. When the captain of the Roman military unit handling the executions saw what had happened, he was struck with awe and wonder and cried out, surely this was God's son. And this is the personal witness account of John, Jesus' disciple. Early Sunday morning, while it was still dark, Mary the Magdalene came to the tomb and found that the stone was rolled aside from the entrance. She ran, found Simon Peter and me, and cried, they have taken the Lord's body out of the tomb, and I don't know where they have put him. We ran to the tomb to see. I outran Peter and got there first and stopped and looked in and saw the linen cloth lying there while the bandage that had covered Jesus' head was rolled up in a bundle and was lying at the side. And then I went in, and as I stood there, trying to grasp what I was witnessing, I was suddenly overwhelmed with certainty that Jesus had risen from the dead. Until this moment, none of us had truly understood how the scriptures had clearly foretold all of these events, including his death upon the cross and the promise that he would come to life again. So we ran home to start telling others. And in the meantime, Mary had returned to the tomb and was standing outside, weeping. She glanced over her shoulder and saw someone standing behind her, and she assumed it was the gardener. Why are you crying? He asked her. Who are you looking for? Sir, she replied, if you have taken him away, Tell me where you have put him, and I will go and find him and tend to his body. And then he called her name, Mary. Immediately she turned towards him, looked at him intensely for just a moment, and then for absolute certainty she knew the voice. Master, Rabboni, she exclaimed and ran towards him. Do not hold on to me, Mary, Jesus continued, for I haven't yet ascended to the Father. But go, find my brothers and tell them that I will ascend to my Father and your Father, my God and your God. And Mary Magdalene turned and ran to find the disciples.
We haven't quite finished. <laughs> that evening, the disciples were meeting behind locked doors in fear of the Jewish leaders when suddenly Jesus was standing there amongst them. And after greeting them, he showed them his hands and his side. And how wonderful was their joy as they saw their Lord. And Jesus looked at them and he spoke to them. Life so full I give to you As the Father sends me So I send you Spread my light throughout all Together.
full I give to you as the Father sends me so I send you spread my light throughout all life peace be with you Thank you and shalom.